Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is day number nine, I believe, or episode number nine for Krieg. Man, it's kind of crazy to think about. Day number nine, we're still in normal mode. Uh, you know, we're taking our time, enjoying the run. So, last we left off, we killed Bunker. You know, we've got the Stink Pot and the 12-pounder. Really fun combo with the Bloodbath build. Or, the build. Bunker gave us that. We're gonna sell that, though. We don't need it. We got a Sickle Calm, and that's kind of like it. Here's the build so far. All the Bloodbath and, you know, stack duration and whatnot. So, I did look at the comments, and it seems like a lot of people for the XP farm want me to do... It was a close tie. It was either um, King Mong or Waddle Gobbler. A lot of people voted Waddle Gobbler. I think it's in theme with, you know, Thanksgiving just passed. So, it does make sense. Not many farms or votes on the Mutated Arcades. Eh, not a fun farm anyways. And... Bunker, I, I feel like people have seen the Bunker farm enough for 94 Sham Farming, so they want to see something different. Plus, everybody wants me to get the Vada Boom, too, so... Ah, it's so hard to pick. Either King Mong, or we do Waddle Gobbler. And I think we're gonna do... Mm, yeah, probably King Mong. I mean, I would like a Vada Boom. Waddle Gobbler would be probably more efficient in terms of, like, getting XP faster. Because King Mong is a rare spawn, not always guaranteed. But before we do, though, I do want to pick up a weapon for King Mong. And I think that's gonna be the Heartbreaker. Oh, you're 26, though. Are we not 27? We're barely not 27, wow. So, if you would have been 27 after we finished Bunker, then we would have had a 27 mission for this, but... Eh, not a big deal. It's only one level. Not the end of the world. So, yeah, the Heartbreaker is going to be good for King Mong and also for, like, Sawtooth, so I figured we'd pick that up. And also, it'd be good for Water Gobbler if we did that, but we're not going to be doing that today. Maybe in TVHM, we'll see. So, the first thing I do want to do is actually head over to Lynchwood... We gotta go to Iridium Blights, and actually going to Lynchwood and traveling through the, what do you call it, the dust door here is faster than going from the Ellie Garage and driving over. I believe it's like 10 seconds faster, which is kind of crazy to think about. So this does save time if you do this route. Also, the most important thing I want to do, the reason why I'm going to Lynchwood first, um, or sorry, the Iridium Blights first, is because we're gonna scale Sawtooth. By entering Sawtooth right now at 26, right? That means the map's going to scale to, I believe, 26. So once we're done with our XP farm, we're going to be level 30. I want to get 30 at least. That means that the Lynchwood's still going to be... Or not Lynchwood. I keep going on Lynchwood. Sawtooth will be 26, but I will be level 30, which means it will be a little bit easier to get through. Because as you know, um, Sawtooth is a pretty nasty map. A lot of bad enemies and bullets going everywhere. Uh, it might be voted actually the... Oh, man, I'm going to kill you now. If I kill him now, he's going to level up my uh, character. And that means we'll get a 27 scaled Sawtooth. So we're going to keep Sawtooth low. We'll come back to King Mong. Watch me regret it. That would have been the farm. The bottom of that farm. But yeah, we passed it up. In a parallel universe, we got that done. And uh, got that bottom boom. Hit the waypoint. And now we're going to do a really cool trick here. I don't think I've shown this off before. So mouse and keyboard, key bindings. We're going to do boost on... Scroll down. Yep. And by free scrolling down on the boost, not too hard, otherwise you will crash your game, that's the thing. You can get a floaty car jump and make this jump quite a bit easier, so hopefully we can do that. Pfft, did it way too early. Yeah, also it will make a crazy noise, so hopefully it won't be too loud. I can actually adjust it for my editing, so it shouldn't be too bad. Try this again. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> that is a game crash. Oops. Hold on a second here. Okay, we're back. Yeah, sorry about that. So, I scrolled way too hard, apparently, and crashed my game. I guess we won't do that skip. Okay. Also, yeah, we gotta hit the waypoint again, because we didn't save before the crash. In BL1 and BL2, and I think the pre-sequel too, I'm pretty sure. Also, the skip. No King Mong. If you spam your boost over and over in a car, like, really, really fast... Then you get floaty car jumps. Like, your car will, like, float higher um, off of any kind of jump and uh, things like that. But, yeah, I, I kind of screwed that up. If you boost way too fast, way too hard, like I did there, your game will crash. Oops. Let's not do it this time. We'll just take the normal boring way. Oh, now you're over here. Okay, okay. Kind of sad. I do want to kill him so bad, but we'll come back to it. Again, you want to scale Sawtooth to the right level here. Ooh! Okay, I've never actually made that without the floaty car jump before, but yeah, you can barely make it. Speedrunners make it all the time, they make it look easy. I've done that jump so many times, like practicing, and I can never make it. 
And for the first time ever, you guys witnessed it. I did make it, so awesome. I recommend doing that if you can, you know, figure it out. I can't figure it out. I just got lucky. So, Sawtooth should be 27. Let's see here. Yep, that means that our vendor scaled to 27. So, we know the map is 27. Or wait, no, 26. 26, 25, and 24, probably? Hold on. Yeah, 24. So, we know it's scaled to 26. Cool. Because vendor items can be on level and then two levels lower. So, 26, 25, 24. And now we can go farm King Mong. So, back to the map. Radiant Blight. And, oh wait, no, sorry, you gotta get the Heartbreaker. Oops, a little bit ahead of myself here. So we gotta go to uh, Three Horns Divide. Let's see here, let me swap my mission. There you are. Go over here. Now, if I would've been smart, if I would've known I was gonna do this later on, I would've um, unlocked Three Horns Divide, or not Three Horns Divide, sorry. Unlocked Costa Caverns earlier, so that we didn't have to like rush through it with our, our current gear. Because right now the enemies are gonna be on level but if you would have done it earlier when we were like over leveled, it would have been easier to get through it. But not a big deal. We'll be okay. And yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this map. You can run through and jump off at the corner there and like skip pretty much the whole entire map. Uh, you don't have to run through the whole thing. Which is quite nice because this map can be a little bit nasty. A lot of bad spawns and uh, crazy guns. Eh, yeah, they're on level. So I'm going to try to avoid you if I can. Probably going to go down. I got my 12 pounder ready. Or not? Nah. Okay, there's that. Oh, please don't snipe me on the way down. <laughs> okay, I didn't make the jump. That's good, that's good. Go for you. Get off right away. Almost didn't make that. Wow. That was a uh, pretty nasty spawn. I'm surprised we got that, dude. And we made it. So one more thing we need to do before we get out of this map is fast travel. So what I want to do is run to the door. And then we're going to wait for the fast travel to pop up and run back. You'll see the save in the corner. And now we have unlocked Costa Caverns. Yeah. For some odd reason, if you don't like run away and run back, it doesn't unlock. And I think I explained that in a previous playthrough. Um, yeah, this map's kind of weird. This map, the fridge, uh, Moxie's Bar and Torg DLC. Quite a few places. And, you know, if we do get the, whatchamacallit, the Fable Tortoise, that would be cool too. But we don't need it. It would be cool for farming. To speed up the farm a little bit. And as for my weapon of choice for blue, well, we can do launcher. Remember, grenades and launchers can crit chrysalis. Right? So if you do this, this might do some decent damage. But in order to make it like do really good damage, I do want to activate Bloodbath. So I will try to get a few stacks along the way. And then I can kill skill. Ooh, there's nothing nearby, is there? Um. See, like, if I kill this guy and run over there, it's already going to be too late. It's going to wear off. I think there is a Crystalisk in the arena, so I might be able to get that dude. So green. So, so green. Uh, we got the 99 stacks, and then it stopped. Oh, well. We will get this. I mean, even if we don't uh, get Bloodbath, we still have a huge mag. So, not a huge deal. Stack up a few more. Okay. Go for the kill. Oh yeah, we're fine, we're good. We have all the damage. Bloodbath would have been a one-shot though, which would have been nice. And there we go. Oh, now we get a spawn. It's too late now. Whatever. You broke the air, don't think about it. Take that. And I think for the Heartbreaker, I'm not gonna farm for like a god rule. I just wanna get at least matching grip on it. Uh, just to make sure we have the right mag and the decent reload on it. Ideally, I think I would wanna get like practicable. Or practicable. What did I say for my videos? Practicable. I know, people get mad when I say that. Jolt is practicable. Come on, man. So we're going to go for the practicable um, heartbreaker. You know, no, I lied. I'm not going to farm it. Uh, I'm just going to take a matching grip. Like I said before. I was thinking about farming it midway in my thoughts there. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to farm it. But I do want to farm it. It's like Jekyll and Hyde. We're fighting each other right now. Okay. Uh, pop farm. I had it ready for today. Read only. Let's farm, dude. And hopefully we get a first run. T-Door, no, not taking that. Not taking T-Door. We could do better. Oh, I see you. So for those who don't know, for Michael, you can actually scroll down on your interact, like free scroll or, you know, scroll down really hard and get many items. So we're going to do that right now. Is that a cannon? Uh, we just got a cannon in there. Hold on a second here. Yeah, so we just got like seven items, which is really cool. You can, you can do that. Michael is very generous. Thank you, Michael. 
Uh, I'm gonna take all those. And how's that cannon? Torg grip. I mean, it's more damage, right? That might actually beat out the... Oh, wow, it doesn't. Interesting. I mean, I guess it's a unique, right? The stink pot. I'll hang on to that just for other stuff that aren't, you know, weak to corrosive. But hey, that's a really cool find. I will take that. Thank you, dude. So in order to save these, I got to turn off read only. We got it. Save. Turn back on read only. Let's farm, dude. And because we're here, you know, let's just see if we get it. Come on, Moxie, please. Nope. All right, keep it going. Again, if you're ever doing a farm in which you have to run a distance, use Buzzhack's Rampage. It gives you a small speed bonus, so why not use it? Ah! <laughs> Nine runs, wow. I was just about to say, man, this is the one in five to get the right grip, so I'm lucky, but... I mean, if you say so, I mean, sure, I'll take that. Thank you. Dude, wow, we that's cool. It. Awesome, happy. Yeah, that will definitely do. And you know what, thinking about it, I'm kind of glad I did keep my deputy badge. Even though I didn't roll a good one or a perfect one, but um, that will be something for, for this farm. So I will keep that. Also, we leveled, point into more reload. And now we can go farm King Mong. So let me change my farm and then we'll, uh, yeah, take him on. Oh, there he is. First try. Awesome. So for King Mong, um, if you want to avoid the racks, you can just have him chase you over here, like towards the wall. Uh, otherwise, the racks are kind of annoying. And as for King Mong, he can jump right in this corner and we can get him stuck. There we go. Run away. And then probably go for the slag. And yeah, the bottom boom is a... Oh, that is strong. Wow. The bottom boom is a 1 in 20. Not 1 in 10. 1 in 20. Because he can drop a purple skin. Yeah. So 1 in 10 for the skin. 1 in 10 for the bottom boom. Or sorry. 1 in 10 for a drop. But 1 in 20 for the specific one. Um. So yeah, this could take a lot of farming. And again, King Mong is not the fastest farm because he's not always guaranteed. If you don't get him up here, a lot of people just save quit right away. But I usually drive all the way down just to see if we get him down there too. Because I hate it when you have like 15 runs in which you don't get him over here. And then, um, yeah, you just feel like you're not getting farms done. So I take the extra time to drive down here to check for the uh, other spawn. And if you don't see him right here, right here on the corner. Uh, if you don't see him by the time you pass the save station, he didn't spawn. So just go for the save quit and try again. So we'll do one more together. Get the warp out the car. Awesome. Get the jump. Beautiful. And go for the kill. Uh, nope. Alright, this might take a little bit, so I will keep farming and bring you guys back when we get something. Also, run number two, I just noticed. Oops. Also, for those who don't want to actually use the Heartbreaker, you can't... What was that? What the heck? Something ricocheted. Was that money? Uh, anyways, yeah, if you don't want to use the Heartbreaker, you can throw the Skyrocket too. That will still one-shot. Or maybe two-shot, but make sure you slag. I did get comments about why enemies despawn right away. Um, I don't remember how I did it, but it's an INI &I edit. Like, if you open your INI &I files in your documents for Borderlands 2, you can edit the ragdolls to despawn after, like, one second. And the reason I do that is because the enemies can, like, fall on top of the loot and you can't really see it. For example, King Mom will fall on top of the bottom boom and you're like, uh, did I get a bottom boom? I can't tell. So instead, the body despawns right away and then, you know, easier to check for the loot. Ah, yep. First drop the skin. 1 in 20. No bottom boom yet. Uh, he does drop a lot of cool purples too. You could get lucky and get like a Ravager or like a quad. That'd be really cool. Or heck, even a purple like bandit launcher. I mean, a purple bandit launcher is still good. I can taste the iron. Level up. Awesome timing. Uh, even though we've done 13 runs, I mean, he doesn't spawn every time. So just keep that in mind. Ooh, what are you? Um, longbow slag. I mean, that's something. I'm going to take it. No reason not to. Uh, we're still full. How full are we? 15 out of 15. There we go. And point's going to go into all the reloads, so more of you. And let's get that bottom boom, man. I'm not giving up. You know, I just thought about it. We can farm uh, Donkey Mong, too, if you get him. So if you see him at the corner of your eye... Nope. You can actually kill him and get, like, 5k XP. Really fast kill. So I will be adding that to this farm, too, to get more XP. But keep in mind, uh, Donkey Mong doesn't drop the bottom boom at all. Hey, there you are. Man, you're kind of rare, aren't you? I passed this, like, I don't even know, 10 times he didn't spawn. But this time he got him. Now, for those who don't know, you can clip the tie and get the hidden achievement. Oh, wait, you're only 3,200. Hmm, I thought you were more. I guess maybe I won't kill him. 
It might not be worth the time. Maybe it would be. I don't know. I think focusing on King Mong would be a lot more important. Also, no racks, too. Ugh. So bad. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. I know, right? Even the skin knows. Yep, still no bada boom. I'm lucky. Also, I do want to point out that King Mong cannot spawn in two different locations in, like, one run. So if you get him on one side, he cannot be on the other side. Level up. And for those wondering why I want to get level 30 is because... Uh, no. For those wondering, it's because um, that is the max level you can scale the B-Shield. And also the max level you can scale Saturn. And Saturn is going to be our next XP farm. So I want to make sure we can scale him high. And uh, get all the XP. That's all. Aww. Wah. That's so sad. Three skins in a row. I hope you don't get bored because I cannot say the next thing you're thinking. Well, it's not a bada boom, but it's a decent launcher. Also, I must have shot at the racks. Oops. I would definitely take that. Also, a zero fuse, not longbow, but that is okay. Utility. I will take it. So, yeah, if you don't get the bada boom, then I won't be very sad because we do have a pretty decent uh, bandit launcher. Remember, any launcher will be pure launcher splash. So, therefore, it will always activate bloodbath on kill. So if I need to activate Bloodbath to, you know, buff up my guns, I can just shoot a launcher shot and we're good to go. Pretty awesome. Oh, no. It is not our lucky day, huh? I guess all that luck on uh, Krieg earlier with the, like, first tries and stuff. Like the Herald and the first try Fatal and the Stinkpot first try. Yeah, the game's, like, catching up to me now. Not a bad sniper, though. I'll take that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Uh, well, we only have a farm or two left, so I don't think we're gonna get it, guys. I really don't. How do you get... Oh, wow. Good parts except for the stock. I will take that. How do you get five skins? That's insane. I mean, technically, we're getting lucky because we're getting drops, but not the drop I need. Oh, well. <gasps> the next run. Oh, my goodness, chat. <sighs> Sorry, I feel like I'm streaming right now. YouTube audience, <laughs> guys, uh, this is a matching grip. That part is quick drawler on top, that piece right there. Uh, Malawan exhaust, so rocket speed. Malawan sight rocket speed. That is what I consider nearly, not quite, but nearly a perfect rocket jumping bada boom. Huh, interesting. So that makes up for it, yeah. We had a bunch of bad luck getting these skins and then suddenly you get a god roll bada boom. So I can't be mad about that. King Mong. Bro, thank you. Thank you so much. And there we go. Level 30. Awesome. No three drops in a row this time, though, but whatever. That was a lot of farming. Holy crap. Yeah, you guys don't really realize how long that took. That was a while. Level 30 off of King Mong alone is a lot of farming. So, let's take down the farm. And during my farming, I did give it a little bit of thought. I think I want to go for the Fibber. Fibber in the B-Shield. I don't do it much on Creek anymore, but I figured, eh, let's be different. Because it would be good for, like, speed killing Saturn. Because I do need to kill Saturn for XP later on. And so, yeah, let's get a Fibber. A lot of fun. Plus, I never really go for Fibber anymore. It's, like, not really in my routes for my runs. So, you are 27. That's fine. And actually, since we are 30, I do feel like we need a shield upgrade. I'm not even sure. Does this map scale upon entering? Are we going to get 30 out of this? Oh, cool. We do. Awesome. So, we can get a level 30 shield out of the vendor. 28, 30... Hmm. Yeah, hold on. Real quick, let me get a shield, and then, yeah, we will be back. Well, not too bad. Level 30, also a 3 grade. Vladoff, Ancient, and Tidior. That's fine. I will take that. So we can drop off our old shield, which is, yeah, pretty underleveled now. Thank you. Still full. Hold on. What do we not need? Uh, I picked up the purples during the farm for, for money. We can sell you off now. The better sniper will keep that. And that should be good. Take the shield. Awesome. Alright, so we're going to do the... Fibber mission, and I haven't done it in a while, so I kind of forget, like, what I want to do for this. Um, we gotta go to the other side of the map. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna down myself. I know, I know, crazy. So, basically, if you bleed out after spawning in this map, or spawning at that door, the game doesn't have a save point to put you at, or, like, a spawn station, so it puts you back at spawn. Nice little shortcut. Otherwise, you gotta run all the way back. There's no car station nearby that door, and it's, uh, kind of a pain. But yeah, I haven't done this mission in a while, and I kind of forget the, the flow. There's like a path you could take to efficiently do it. 
but I I don't recall. I know where like the stuff is, but I mean I haven't done the mission in forever, so not gonna be the most efficient run here, but I know how to get it done. Somewhat. I think that you wanna go like counterclockwise or clockwise. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to think in my head like what I need to do to make this efficient. Eh, whatever. Not a speed run, like I said, we can take our time, but I do like being efficient. I hate doing like things inefficiently in this game. These guys up ahead are going to be random uh, drops. So, I mean, it's just, you know, luck based if we're going to get all the parts or not. The shirt, the pants, the hat. Also, during King Long farming, I did get a bunch of iridium. Up oh, there's one. So, I need to go spend that real fast. There's two. Oh, really? We're almost done here. Three? Okay, no three there. Door guy, let's go ahead and kill you. And then you're gonna jump up there, that's fine. Hey, there's the final piece, thank you. Check the chest. Anything good? Probably not, nah. Okay, save quit, and let's go spend that Iridium real quick. I feel like I should go for, well, launcher for sure. Launcher because bada boom, and then shotgun because, yeah, heartbreaker. No reason not to upgrade that. Don't have to worry about grenades because bloodbath, and then our next upgrade might be... Pistol? Yeah, the Bibber, right? So, pistol, shotgun, and launcher. So, let's do one of those, or two of those. One launcher, and then shotgun. Get him up to 20, probably. Oh, that's it, okay. And then one for backpack. I do find myself running out a little bit. And then back to Maul. Mal, Mal, Mal. How do you say it? So, we're reading Blades. So, I'm gonna trek back. You know what's up. There you go, there's the close, and a funny fact here, um, this is a green rarity shield with a white rarity core, so technically this is a unique, even though it's a green rarity, yeah, because normally it would have a green core if it's a green shield, but because it's different, it's unique, yeah, alright, take that, save quit again, that's gonna put us back in the fast travel, and yeah, this is the part I'm talking about, I don't know exactly the correct path to get this done efficiently, I'm just gonna wing it and, you know, hope I take a decent path here. Like, for the most part, I want to show the efficient ways to get stuff done in this game, but... This is one of the parts I'm kind of, like, doing on the fly. So I don't know exactly what I want to do for this. It might even be better to, like, car teleport. I don't know. Like, spawn a car back at spawn? No, actually, no, 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 because you can save quit. There's no point. Never mind. I lied. Car teleport. Yep. That works. And then grab that. This might be the way to go. I don't know. On the corner, we dodge all the bad stuff. Whoop. At least for normal mode, the spawns aren't like too bad. You can, um, you know, have decent stuff. No launcher enemies like spamming your car or one shotting your car and stuff. That could be pretty annoying for UVHM and OP levels. Okay, a ladder up to. Oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry. The piece is over here, right? I was thinking of the uh, the mailbox for the customer service. Is that the mission? Yeah. The uh, grenade and SMG farm, right? I might actually find that later on. I don't know. We'll see. If I need to get a Tesla or something. Alright, do this to get speed. We're going to skip the combat because we are overleveled and these guys really aren't worth it. Although, I see an opportunity here. I just want to... Cool. Now I feel better. Back to the car. Then we'll turn around. You know, for the longest time, I didn't know about this bridge here, so I always parked over there and, like, you know, ran through on foot. Um, so, yeah, this makes it a little bit more efficient, because you can take the car down this bridge. Isn't it a one-way, though? Yeah, they make you jump off there. So, it is a one-way for that. Alright, this I do remember. You can do a skip for this to, um, not, you know, go through the combat. So, jump here, over here, and then pick it up from below. Just like that. Nice and efficient. And actually, if you think about it, in one more level, we are going to be jumping over to melee. So, I'm pretty excited for that, actually. Melee Krieg is so much fun, too. Oh, I can't wait for it. Take that. And then one more right over here, and then we can just go for that safe quit. Beautiful. I do wish Krieg had more speed, though. I, I mentioned that before, but, like, he just feels so slow. Like, he can't rocket jump. He can't, you know, grenade jump efficiently. He's just very, very slow. And, like, when it comes to playing a game, you just want to be fast, you know? And all the other characters have speed, you know, like Maya, Breakneck Banshee. You have Salvador Rocket Jumping, her bus that can't slow down. Axton, you have Onslaught, Gage, you have, uh... 
unstoppable force, right? And in Jiro, you have, um, what's it called? Uh, why can't I think of it? Middle tree, a bit down. Innervate? Yeah, Innervate. All the other characters can also use the uh, Fable Taurus efficiently for stripping their shield. Or not all of them. I think, yeah, Sal can because the Raider. And Zero can because Sniper Com. And then Axton, I mean, you have Onslaught, so you're already speedy. All right, there you go. Maul. Oh, wow. Look at that. Deputy Sal would be happy. And as for the Fibber, I don't know what I want to farm. Hmm. No Element Fibber, or should I go for, like, Corrosive? Corrosive would be good for Saturn, but, like, do I need that? I don't know. Also, car roaring in the background. Sorry about that, if you can hear that. I know, fire on armor, I don't care. Whatever. Okay, let's farm. So, the Fibber for normal mode will have four damage numbers. So, we're going to be looking for that. So, let's do a read-only farm. Uh, change my title. Hold on, give me a second here. All right, there we go. Am read only. Nice farm, dude. Awesome. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a no element favor. We don't need a uh, corrosive one. So you can see here, three damage numbers. Technically, it has a fourth number there, but we don't count the multiplier. So that is not the ricochet favor. And also, if you're not sure, you can always shoot the floor to see if it, you know, splits up to know for sure. So for normal mode, you're looking for four numbers. For TVHM, you're looking for five. And then UVHM, you're looking for six or seven, depending on if you're in OP levels and whatnot. All right, two, that means it's not it. Keep it going. And I did get a lot of questions in like previous videos about like, how do you know what Fibber, or why is the Fibber weird with the stats and stuff? I feel like it's obvious, but I don't know. I guess some people miss it. Like it's called the Fibber, it's fibbing, it's joking. So this stuff is just, you know, to throw you off. The numbers, the mag, it throws you off. It's not true, it's fibbing. I know, some people might be like, isn't that obvious? But yeah, a lot of people overlook that. Maybe Fib's not really a, a well-known word worldwide, possibly. Yo, there we go. Four damage numbers, but the grip could be better. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go for a matching grip. I'm going to be a little bit picky. So let me keep farming this. Ooh, corrosive ricochet. Wow, that's not bad. But yeah, I forgot how like rare the Fibber farms can be. Like Fibbers have a lot of parts. Like what is it, eight grips and then... You gotta roll the right barrel, and then the right element, the right prefix, all that kind of stuff. So, pretty tough farm, but honestly, I think that's good. I'm gonna take that. Like, that will destroy Saturn, so I'll take that. Alright, read only is off, it. take down the farm. And unfortunately, I think I gotta call it there today. Yeah, I didn't realize how much farming we were gonna do today, and that takes a lot of time. Also, I just realized, too, we didn't do the name today. I'm sorry about that. We were not really in Sanctuary that long. But tomorrow, we are going to be destroying Sawtooth and then taking on Saturn and probably getting our melee build going. So I'm pretty excited for that. Hopefully you guys are too. And yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And of course, if you really enjoyed it and want to see more Borderlands content, then be sure to drop us up. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.